This recipe is from my gran, an amazing baker, and everything she made was delicious and she made it look incredibly easy. I need to take a deep breath. <laughs> okay. Hey everyone, my name is Naomi Boyd and I am a community manager for the Microsoft advertising business. And today I'm making my favorite recipe, which is a Welsh cake. It is uh, prepared like a scone. It's actually cooked like a pancake and then it is eaten or devoured in my case, like a cookie. So we take all purpose flour. In this case, I'm using eight ounces and then salted butter. My grandmother actually used um, a high quality margarine, she liked to say. Um, but it's okay to be at room temperature. And so we're going to add that to the flour. Now you can either use your hands or you can use a pastry cutter. Um, and I'm going to use a pastry cutter today because I don't particularly enjoy rubbing butter and flour together. I landed my dream job at Microsoft about three years ago. I'm a nine year employee at the company and I get to drive our DNI strategy for the advertising business. And that involves um, helping with inclusive recruiting. It helps uh, empower our employees. Uh, to advocate for themselves, um, to come to work as their authentic selves. I'm really grateful because I never thought that someone that didn't have technical experience could actually work at Microsoft. Okay, so now that we have really small pieces, there's no big lumps of butter, and so now we need to add the rest of the dry ingredients. Four ounces of just plain granulated sugar, four ounces of currants, these are just tiny raisins. I always recommend using currants because the raisins are too big, and some allspice. Now my gran used regular nutmeg, but I like the combination of the cinnamon and stuff in here. So I just eyeball it. We're gonna go with two big pinches. And then I'm gonna continue using my hands because it's more fun. And we're gonna mix all of this together. The pandemic has been really difficult for everyone. Um, in my story uh, specifically, I've suffered from depression and anxiety since I was about 18. And at that point, I also became a bulimic. So my relationship to food really changed. Um, I stopped baking, which is something I love. Um, I definitely had a relapse with bulimia um, and was really depressed, understandably so. Um, and so I uh, reached out to the employee assistance program through um, Microsoft Benefits and started meeting with a therapist again. I kind of stopped um, before the pandemic hit and it's what got me through the pandemic uh, in addition to the love of my friends and family and my coworkers. So it's been tough, but there's light at the end of the tunnel and I'm happy to be baking again. Now this is probably the most difficult step, even though this is a really easy recipe as you've seen. And so I'm gonna make a little well in this bowl to um, put the wet ingredients. Start with one egg. And I like to keep the eggs at room temperature for recipes. Helps incorporate. And I'm checking to see if this dough will hold, hold together because we need to roll it out. It's a little crumbly, so I'm just gonna add a splash of milk. Put some flour on the surface so that it doesn't stick. And we're going to attempt to roll it out. Uh, because of my eating disorder, I started um, making certain foods illegal. That really included all desserts. Like all desserts were bad and through treatment and counseling, I started to legalize food. And so then I became um, more excited to bake and I decided to make a birthday cake for a coworker and I found this three layer ganache covered chocolate filled cake that I was determined to make. It started my love affair with baking. Um, so it was a part of my recovery actually, um, in addition to just wanting to be nice for a coworker. So the dough has come together really nicely now, but I need to roll it out because without a quarter of an inch, um, I'm taking my cookie cutter and just cutting them into shapes. So now that we have our Welsh cakes cut out, we're not gonna grease a pan. There's enough butter in here and you're just gonna stick them on the pan and you're going to cook them for about five minutes on each side. So this is like the pancake thing, right? You made them like a scone, you're cooking them like a pancake and you're gonna eat them like a cookie. Um, and they're not sizzling or anything. They're just gonna sit there and they're gonna get really nice and golden brown and then you'll flip them over and the same will happen. 
So while these cook for five minutes, they're on low heat. You may want to test one to see how fast they cook. I have definitely burned an entire batch before being very impatient. So low and slow, five minutes each side. So we're gonna test these now. You notice that they don't spread. <gasps> yeah, that one's great. So you can see it's nice and golden brown. Wait the same amount of time to get the bottom. And we get to sprinkle them with sugar now, which is, you know, the best part. It's good. So it's been my pleasure today to share a family recipe with you, the Welsh cake, and to share my journey with um, mental health. Um, so if you're struggling, please reach out to Microsoft Benefits. And for those of you who don't work for Microsoft, please reach out to your employer or to your local medical provider to get the help that you need as well. Thank you again for watching and for more episodes, visit microsoftlife.com.